Hey Pisces, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your healing reading. Let's get started with a Heal Yourself reading card in order to see where Spirit feels we need healing. Spirit, what is the area we need to heal for Pisces? And we have beauty. Number 17, which breaks down to an 8. So this could mean a lot of things. This could be talking about, you know, your own self-image and self-confidence, self-worth, um, how you see yourself. But let's see what the book has to say. Recognize your inner and outer beauty. You are beautiful, special, unique, and attractive. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and felt good about what you see? Did you know that your features can literally change based on how you feel about yourself and your life? Your internal experiences are etched on your face and your body. People can feel your energy when you enter a room. When a person who is not thought of as being physically good looking connects to their own inner light, wisdom, and warmth, the glow that emanates from within makes them extremely appealing and attracts people and opportunities towards them. Focus on what you love about yourself and allow yourself to shine. If you are challenged by how you see yourself, this could be a perfect time for an internal and external makeover. I don't feel like you need a makeover except to um, really accept who you are, the good and bad of who you are, and, rec and really try to see yourself through divine eyes, how God, the creator, or whatever you believe, God, the creator, how he created you exactly how you were supposed to be. All right, so let's see what the cards tell. What's the story here? What is this past event or energy that needs to be healed for Pisces? What has happened in the past to lead to this regarding beauty? And we have the moon. Okay, so this could have something to do, the moon can represent mother energy. Um, so it could have something to do with your relationship with your mother or, you know, just something from childhood so I feel like this is about you know also recognizing like I said the darkest part of yourself and the light like one cannot exist without the other embracing that about yourself the good and the bad and you know those things that you really feel do not fully represent you or maybe have become a part of you only through pain then that is where you're looking to bring healing. You know, allow spirit to give you that healing. Call in angels, the angels to help you with that healing. What is the current energy for Pisces? And we have the emperor. So I feel like this is really about standing in your own power. Um, this could be an Aries that you're dealing with and other Pisces, um, but I really feel like it's almost like saying mom and dad. And I don't, I mean, I think for most of you, it's never been, uh, it hasn't been something where there was any overt um, statements about your beauty. But I think that um, when you look at the things that your mother tried to change about herself, and if you have those same qualities, then it makes you feel less than when you're a child. When you see your father and what he's attracted to or what he expected from from your mother or, you know, from, you know, if, if they weren't together, you know, other women in, in their life and you aren't at that standard or you don't believe yourself to be, that can create that um, kind of, I don't even want to say spark, but that planning of that negative seed within your um, your self-image. Okay, so what is the 
a challenge for Pisces here. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like there may have been something that you have attributed to yourself as to why you felt abandoned or left out in the cold and you felt like if you had just been prettier or if you had just whatever had the right color skin or you know if you had just been thinner or whatever it is that um, you see as whatever you see defines beauty you are not seeing in yourself and you are attributing some kind of trauma in your life to your own the way you are and I don't believe that that's true I feel like it's devil energy a negative lie that is being told to you that has taken root in your soul so what is the advice here for Pisces the magician and see how this is just radiating you know that Sun that positivity behind the magician recognize you have everything within you you have what it takes you are worthy you have the beauty you have the confidence you have it all it's about recognizing that and understanding that you are not alone like you are the light is shining on you all right but we are going to get some clarification to see you know, this magician is about manifestation. So let's see. And we have three major arcana out of four. So let's see what the outcome is for Pisces. And we have the son of swords. He's standing on the truth. Okay. You need to recognize the truth about yourself. The positive truth. Also embracing those things that you know are not considered desirable embracing those as part of you do you have to let them rule you no but don't ignore them you can't ignore the shadow side of yourself it's something it's part of you um i watch a reader her name is queen cup and she's also talking she's always talking about you know embracing your shadow but not letting it overtake you and recognizing that you are a divine creation when you go you know to God um, it depends on how you believe but I love the scenario she paints when you go to God you don't bring only your light self you bring your entire self because he created all of it right so there is a beauty in all of it in fact, the shadow part of yourself can be the fuel of your creativity and you can create beauty in the world simply from healing and embracing your shadow. Okay, so let's get some clarification here. So what exactly is this moon represent for Pisces? This is you. we have the six of swords okay so I feel like I don't know I'm just really getting this story of someone who had a lot of whose mother had a lot of struggles with their own self-image when you were growing up and it's really transferred over to you and this could could have created a kind of um, unstable childhood for you. Okay, I don't I don't know where that's all coming from, but that is that's the story that's coming through for me. Um, and why is this emperor here? And we have the two of swords. So I feel like, yeah, there was no um, embracing of emotion within your home. And this could be speaking to one person. So please don't get offended if I'm trying to speak on your childhood because it may not be a message directly for you. But I feel like there was no embracing, um, there was no embracing your own inner power there was some type of you know kind of dictatorship maybe this was before your mother 
um, fled leaving your father. I don't know if this is, you know, um, your story, but it is a very emotional um, download that I'm getting right now. And somehow you felt abandoned in the whole situation. Maybe your mother fled and left you with your dad where you weren't, um, you weren't able to uh, really shine and allow your inner beauty to be revealed. Maybe you were not allowed to wear makeup so it made you feel ugly compared to other people. And I feel like that's not the case. It's just something that has, you know, stayed rooted within you since childhood. All right, so this Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there was a lot of burdens put on you. If you were, um, if one of your parents abandoned you, this could have led to a lot of extra responsibilities for you. And I apologize if this message is not more general. It's just what's coming through. Why is this magician here? So, I, yeah, I definitely feel like there were other children that you may have, um, you know, picked up a lot of extra responsibility because of either your mom or dad being, um, you know, a single parent. Um, and this has to do with not, you know, this can create that um, abandonment feeling and feeling like you can't, like you didn't get to be a child. And when you become that responsible person way early, um, it starts to make you feel old before your time. And were you able to, you know, fit in with other kids because you had extra responsibilities that they may not have had? This is a crazy thing. And it may not have just been because your parents split. Maybe it was because one of your parents was sick or something to that nature. But I am getting this distinct story for one of you out there that either your mom left or your dad left and it just brought about a whole lot of responsibility for you. And I feel like you need to really let this go. You need to heal that. Okay, but that's a separate reading. <laughs> It's not funny. I'm just saying that's a separate reading here. All right. So why is this magician here for Pisces? And we have the queen of wands. Okay. This is the most confident queen. She, she is known for her beauty. She is allows her inner light is what radiates her and draws. She's a magnet. She Creates, you know, she draws to her in the highest vibration um, others who who revere her. She's the popular kid. This, I mean, you have it in you. Is that what you want? Is that what's going to make you happy? Aligning yourself with spiritual growth and. Understanding exactly what is going to make you happy and what your mission is and where you want to be. Okay, what is the Sun of Swords here? Oh, flyer. Oh, we got two. So we have Temperance and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is where you are being guided to move forward for your own fulfillment. recognize that you have you know with this magician here you have everything you need but the angels are around you to help you to guide you to bring you to this ten of cups okay this is a healing energy healing that part of you you are beautiful inside and out so that's where that's the work that you need to do on healing is bringing that temperance, bringing that um, healing energy within. All right, so let's see what guidance we have for Pisces. This is extremely resonating with me, although the story was not mine in particular, um, but it's not too far off. is the guidance for Pisces and we get take a break 
a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Okay, so you have had some heavy burdens and I feel like, um, you know, keeping yourself healthy, well rested and rejuvenated contributes to your inner beauty and your outer beauty. Like, you know, when you're worked to death, just like the book said, it will show on your face if that's where all of your energy goes and you are stressed inside and out, you're going to look stressed inside and out. But it, you know, <laughs> I still go back to fuck what other people think you look like, you know, but that's easier said than done. All right. We also have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So you are being guided. Allow the angels in to really um, bring about that healing, that protection, that guidance, and carry you, carry you through the worst moments, okay? All right, those are the messages that came through for you, Pisces. I just had half a stack come out. So, you know, this could be a seal, uh, Virgo season could be a, t a real time of healing for you in more areas than one. And I say go for it take the opportunity to if you're able to really do that um that focus on that hermit energy of going within and cleaning house and getting things straight because everything goes better when you're able to do that so within so without all right Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.